Psychologists and scientists speculate on whether nature or nurture form our identity. Do our nasty personality traits result from our DNA? Do we inherit our weird tendency or twitch because mom and dad weren't emotionally available? Or is our dysfunction the result of body chemistry run amok? When considering the rampant neurosis and lunacy of the Dr. Sanford Baker family, I'd say the answer to that question is all of the above and then some. with you? Sure, what's wrong with the TV in your room? Oh, nothing. It's just, I, I'm afraid to be alone in the thunder and lightning. Uh, sure. Oh, uh, you. yeah, it's funny. I just thought that dogs were afraid of thunder. Yeah. Dr. Baker? Oh, hi, Fred. No, 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 I'm sure the tournament's still gonna be on. This is supposed to be the last of the rain. I need a bucket. My roof's leaking. My Dan Quill posters are ruined. No, 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 no. I, I'm sure the course is going to be all dry by Friday. No, I, I was invited to play because I donated some work on some Jamaican or Haitian kid that got bopped in the mouth with a coconut. Sanford, donating surgery to charity. That is so cool. Well, you know, it's a way to help out. Oh, Daddy, you're my ideal man. I mean, not the way you look, but the way you act. <laughs> Don't bother. Oh, all right, I'll see you at the tournament. Admit it, Valley Boy. He was turned on like a fire hydrant. Man, you <laughs> whack, man. I was cool with him. Cool, man. Your tongue was polishing the tops of her shoes, man. Oh my God, you see the caboose on that girl? Yeah, she was go fine, on. man, she is fine. Excuse me, does it ever occur to guys to just say hi to a girl instead of waiting until she walks by and then acting like jerks? I was no, I wasn't of, saying that, I, was talking I wasn't about talking about you. Yeah, right. Uh, hi. Well, that's better. Hi, I'm Barbara Johnson. I'm T, this is my friend Doc. We be cool on the no. Sounds like you homies had a good time. Yeah, your offspring here fell in love with a white girl. Uh, this comes as quite a shock, you must realize, but your mother and I will get used to you dating a white girl. <laughs> ha, 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 very funny. <laughs> you stone gorgeous for a girl not color. Ain't you stone gorgeous, Doc? Yes, oh, wee, stone, girl, you fine. How come you talk like that? Like what? He's kidding, right? Only himself. Well, you're cute, but you're not that cute. Um, I gotta get back to work. Um, Barbara? When do you get off for work? That's an improvement. Well, when do you get off for Um, like four. Well, can I walk you to work? Well, sure. Okay. So, what do you think of Tyler finally dating a white girl? Oh, I'm really excited for him. But I'm worried about the future. Why is that? Well, say he marries this white girl and then reverts to being black. Yeah, I guess it'd be tough on the kids having a white father who thinks he's black. Or even worse, a father who's a revolving door. The kids wouldn't know if daddy's gonna wake up in the morning and say, hey, little buddy's coming at ya. Or yo, how be my chillins today? Let's stomp the white man's ass till his brains be falling out. Look, honey, I graduated from my hospice training class. Mm. Dr. Baker, when was the first time you saw a dead body? Probably medical school. It almost made me sick. But you get used to it after a while. You cope with it by making light of the situation. How so? Oh, you do crazy things like uh, you switch the heads on the cadavers, comb their hair in silly ways, put clown shoes on them. You know, the usual. I can't wait. 
I'm getting my first terminal case this week. I asked for someone who's not in a lot of pain. Why are you doing this? Well, I thought it would be fulfilling to work with the dying. And besides, it's good practice for when our parents start breaking down. A word of advice, you're going to need a good sense of humor to get through this. How are you today, Mrs. Flanders? I'm dying. How are you? Uh, okay. Get some buckets and towels. My room is flooding. It's a disaster. He ain't sleeping in my room. Oh, yes, he is. Yes, Pat, close the borders, build that fence. Beat those immigrants with your baton. <laughs> America for Americans. Sweet land of liberty, of people I throw off of welfare, from sea to shining sea. Yes. All right, that's it. Hey, hey, you sleep talking trash in my room, man. Get out of here. You gone. You history. Go sleep on the couch. But it'll, it'll kill my back, Tyler. That please. ain't my fault, man. Get out of my room. I got to sleep. Get out of here. Hey, white boy, go. Punk ass fool. Man. Little did No Bed Baker realize that he'd wandered into the family's red light district. Yes, Ben. Ride that chariot. Crack that whip, my big Roman candle. Ben. Oh, just a minute, Mr. Her. What do you want, Billy? Can I sleep in your room? <sighs> Hi, Doctor. <laughs> Where's Tyler? God, I still don't believe he's going out with that white girl. Yeah, for real, Tiffany. She's as white as you are. <laughs> wow, I'm one of the whitest girls there is. Word. <laughs> Tyler, the day we met, the way that you talked, you're so much better than that. You should be proud of who you are, Ty. Yeah, but who is he? I'm a black man. I'm so black, I almost twins. You come from good stock. Your father's a doctor. He deserves respect. But he don't get no respect. You sold out to the man, Pops! You're going through a phase, Ty. We all do. But it's time to know when to move on. I hear you. And more importantly, I see you. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Mrs. Baker, is it noble and selfless of you to administer to some poor soul as he or she is taking their last breath? I prefer not to think of it in those terms, E.W. I like to think of myself as a small part of the bridge to the great unconscious. Mm, something the person might take with them on their journey? Exactly. As if I'm the smell of fresh buttered popcorn in the lobby of the infinite. And this is... Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. They told me about the camera. But don't you go sticking that in my face, Sonny. Uh, no, ma'am. Well, how are you today, Mrs. Flanders? I'm dying. How are you? Uh, okay. Listen, I'm here to do anything I can to make your life easier. <laughs> it's already too late for me to have an easy life. What do you got in there, Dolly? Magazines. I brought you Time and Newsweek. Don't and you dare ever bring that crap in here written by the Jew media. Are either of you Hebes? Uh, Protestant. Hebes. Would you like to play some cards? Now, oh, why in the hell would I want to do that? My idiot son comes here with his big butted coon wife, and I have to play poker with those losers. Can you imagine what their friggin' kids are going to look like? How about some hand lotion, Mrs. Flanders? I have some in here. Oh, yes, yeah. thank you, Beverly. Uh, <sighs> little 
think you should go back and see that woman, Aunt Bev. Impending death is hardly an excuse for rudeness. I have to go back. I made a commitment. She sounds like a real nightmare, Miss B. Mm. You know, it's just possible dying is making her cranky. Well, I'm sure it'll all work out. Sanford, come on, your golf's almost done. And where's T? Well, yeah. I didn't really play that well in this tournament. We, oh, we don't have to watch this. We can watch something else. You're on TV. Watch cartoons. I'm not going to miss this. Yeah. 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 This is Sanford Baker, a renowned local plastic surgeon about to hit. Nice hat. Look out. He's hit it into the crowd. Let's hope no one was hurt. Did someone get hurt? It was, it was just a small bruise on a child. It was nothing. And it, was anybody seen T? He's going to miss this. Uh, we're back. <laughs> Dr. Baker is trying to get out of the sand. <laughs> and uh, Dr. Baker is still trying to get out of the bunker. That was three. That was a three easy. Honey, you okay? <laughs> You're all right. Oh, oh my God. 200 oh, over. Man. The great white flounder. <laughs> <laughs> with Billy mattressless, Tiffany offered to share her bed with her cousin. And she ain't even from Kentucky. Hey, Tiff. Hello. I appreciate you letting me sleep here until my room stops smelling like wet Democrats. No problem. Mm -hmm. I'll sleep on top of the covers at the other end of the bed. You won't even know I'm here. <laughs> I'll just pretend you're my little pet. <laughs> you cover up, please? Billy, this is nothing. I usually sleep nude. I'll see you tonight. And don't let them rag on you about your golf, Dad. <laughs> I won't, Ty, thanks. Hey, man, thanks for the sandwich. It's, uh, it's really good. Well, you're welcome. You know, this is the first time since I come to work here that you've been white. It's a big improvement. I thought you were going out with Barbara. Oh, yeah, in a few minutes, Mom. She sure seems like a nice girl. She's the best. No, sweetie, you are. I apologize to any diabetics out there for not warning you in advance of that previous scene. Dr. Baker. Oh, hi, Sid. How you doing? Yes, I saw the tournament. It... I know. I've never played worse in my entire life. L what? N no, I don't... All right, what's the difference between Lawrence of Arabia and Sanford Baker? Sanford Baker spends more time in the sand. That's cute. That's very cute. You gonna be on The Tonight Show with that? Yeah, I'll talk to you later. God, I've been looking forward to this. Seriously, oh. <laughs> It's saw you in golf. Oh, please, Verna, don't remind me, okay? <laughs> My God, you're beautiful. <laughs> you know the part. I'm just. I'm sorry. You know the part where you you hit the ball and it went in the water and you roll your pants. You went in the and then the sand and you. It was great. The swish in the in the sand. You done now? Yeah. Mm -hmm. done. <laughs> Yo, the doctor's in the house. Yo. How you doing? <laughs> All right, man. Yo, you ready to rehearse this house office foundation, man? Oh, no. We're supposed to work on that new song. What do you mean, supposed to? I can't work, man. I, I got to pick up Barbara. Look, I'll call you later, and we'll line up some rehearsal time real soon, OK? Catch you later, dude. Dude, yo, what, T, come here, man. Hang with a brother for a second. Yeah, sure. Look, man, I'm happy you in love and things, all right? But either we gonna do the music or we not. You dig? I know that, that you and Doctor are friends. Don't cop an attitude with me over some little mix-up, okay? A little mix-up, T, man? Your head's been nowhere near the music since you met Barbara, man. I don't see what you have in common, really. Now, if you're going south in our career, I need to know now. What the hell is that supposed to mean? It's supposed to mean that you're a rich white boy who can go from being black to white to being in love to being a, a, a damn kangaroo if you want, man. But I need to make rap work for me. You getting what I'm saying, Marble Cake? Okay, look, chill. Don't lose it like your LAPD, all right? 
Now, music is still happening for us. I'll just call Barbara and tell her after work, okay? Aight. 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 Be upset, sweetheart. It's my fault. You're damn right it's your fault. You said I was sorry. <laughs> what is so damn funny? I was, I, <clears throat> I was just thinking that I hope you don't start making love like you play golf. Because if you do, well, I'm going to have no chance of you getting anything in my eyes. That's it. You laugh yourself right out of a fun afternoon. <laughs> I want this kind of abuse, I could stay at home. Uh, you actually came back. Of course I came back. Can I ask you something, Minnie Mouse? Certainly. I'm not, really. Well, I've got more meat on me than you have, and I've got nine toes in the grave. Well, I don't really consider myself oh, skinny. Relax, Dolly. <laughs> I'm just trying to have fun with you. Oh. <laughs> You know, my husband's a doctor, and he says that a sense of humor is the most important thing. Well, he's spot on about that, Blossom. <laughs> yeah, well, <clears throat> I'd like to have you read to me. Yeah, it'd be my pleasure. Mein Kampf? Mm. You want me to read to you from Hitler? What are you, out of your mind? Hey, now, watch it there, girly girl. <laughs> You're here to put a smile on my face, got it? Yeah, well, there's no way I'm going to be reading this kind of garbage to oh. anybody. I, oh, my God. What? Oh, quick, get me to the bathroom. Hurry, hurry. Oh, you my you stop me. Oh, hurry, hurry. Jesus. We should have brought him in. Oh. oh. I'm meeting with the club pro to fix my golf game, but I don't know what the heck to do about this. But I didn't laugh this time. I know, but I thought you were going to. Oh. What are you crying about? Well, we can't fix this, and you won't need me, and then you'll dump me, right? Makes sense. Sanfi. Hmm. I'll let you do that horrible thing that you've always wanted to do to me. R really? The horrible thing? Uh-huh. Welcome back, Cotter. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Oh. <laughs> Tyler, are you okay? Yeah. Well, I don't know. It's just... You know, we can't feel guilty for outgrowing people. It happens. I guess. The kind thing to do would be just to come out and tell him. Don't drag him along. Cut him loose. And let me open up a whole new world to you. What are you talking about? Don't worry, sweetheart. Trust me. Okay, here they come. Here they come. Looks like a pretty interesting place. Yeah. I want to show you something really special. I think you're going to love it. Okay. I want you to make a really good impression on my friends, okay? Well, they're definitely going to know how much I love you. <laughs> We're here. Tyler, these are my friends. What? Y you're, you're ready for us. I know you are. What kind of bullshit is this? Tyler, darling. No, you see? I don't be associating with the racist mofos that have been beating down on my peoples. And if you think I'm shanking the shoe with this shit-kicking evil, you one crazy woman. Some son of a bitch. You want a piece of me? You want a piece of my black ass? Huh? What? Come on, I'll bust you upside your head. I'm a bad man! I'm a bad man! Don't hurt him! Tyler, we could be so great together. Yo, Grand Dragoness, we torn for history. Damn. chalk face lion ho. I'm a Vic by the scabby, skanky ass skis of Snow White, bitch. Billy, you know, the 50s were the best. You don't know what peace is until you've lived through a decade unaware of, oh, the blacks, the Jews, the Mexicans, and all those festering problems. 
safe in the knowledge that everybody knew their place and stayed in it. That's what Mr. Buchanan's saying. Young Billy, our country needs to return to Mr. Buchanan's 50s. I like Ike. <laughs> Billy, I die knowing there's at least one wonderful moral young man left. Yes, you do. <laughs> <laughs> Wondering how Mrs. Flanders got to the Baker house? Well, let's keep in mind that we are dealing with the Bakers here. So I can assure you that tragedy was involved. Hi. I brought you some health muffins. What the hell are death muffins? No, health, <clears throat> not death. Health, me? You are some kind of mean bitch, Beverly. It's trying to be nice. No, Mrs. Flanders, what are you doing? Oh, Mrs. Flanders, you're not supposed to have that. Now give it to me. Give that, drop myself. it. No, no, you may no, you want can't. it, but you can't have no, it. What I want my thing. What are you? One last cigarette, cigarette that'll hurt. hurt. Now put that down. Oh. When you are just a miserable human being. What do you this think you're here? You are what am I here? I'm going to be here. I'm here anymore. Oh, my God. Look at what's going on in here. Somebody call the fire department. Get out of here, you jerk. My God, Sanford, I burned her house down. She's going to be released from the hospital today, and she has nowhere to go until Saturday when her son picks her up. I'm a horrible human being. There is no one in the world worse than me, except for her. Can she stay with us until Saturday, please? You know, I think her sense of smell is pretty shot. She could stay in Billy's room. Mrs. Flanders, this is my family. Hello. Hello there. Hi. Mrs. Flanders. Hello, everyone. Sorry you were burned out of your house with so little time to live. Thank you. I do blame your mother, dear. Tyler, where's Barbara? Peace line, ho. Well, that trap you ass hoe be hanging with the nasty linen people. She's dusting the wind now. T, you're back! Yeah, I'm back in black and mad as hell. Yo, man, we gonna get the music, man. Set it off, kid. Little lady smell like smoke. Bruce, damn you. Pig. Didn't he call me? Stood me up. Oh. I hate men. Dumb. Billy, Bill! What are you doing, you sick scum? You sleazy slime ball pig! What? Yes. I wasn't yes. doing anything. Ah. What? Bruce, hello, hello, Bruce. Pick up the phone, damn it! It's Tiffany. Come in. Uh, Tiff, we gotta talk. What? Look, we gotta get last night straightened out. I swear, I am not attracted to you in the least. Oh, really? Yeah. Then prove it. <laughs> prove it? How? <laughs> what, what, what are you doing? Don't, don't do that, no. Don't. Prove it. Take off your pants. Prove what? that I don't turn you on. What are you nuts? I'm not taking off my pants. Come on, I want to see. <laughs> no, no, no. Yeah, Tiffany, stop, stop it. Stop <laughs> it. Give me back my Stop it. She's not dead. She was. Oh, ow! Jeez! Don't paws off of me. All right, I want to know what's going on I here. I swear, we didn't do anything. I was just trying to get Billy's pants off. You <laughs> Don't hit him! Oh, you harlot! No! Hey, don't talk Go, to me! Go, you old hag! Get up here! Go on, Tiffany! Get this bag out of here for Get out of here! 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 As you can see, it's a cruel world out there. An elderly woman suffering from a terminal illness almost dies from Bibbs disease. That's Baker's in the buff. Billy and Tiffany develop a dementia as a result of complications from RFE syndrome, related flesh entanglement, and Tyler comes down with a serious case of the KKK. 
As for me, I've got congenital BAMF. Baker's always in my face. I know they're taking years off my life, but I can't think of a better way to go. We should have brought him in. Oh!